you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The price for new dimensions. Price number one is the price of courage. Unbending resoluteness that is not outsourced but generated. Lord, I know you have spoken to me that from this family where no one has risen, that you are going to lift me and the nations will celebrate your workings upon my life. I believe. What is the next step? Start moving. To where? Keep moving. Do you believe I am God? Keep moving. To where? To Lagos. Lord, I am in Lagos. What is the next step? Trust me. What kind of answer is that? And all your classmates call you and say, Oh, is it your picture I saw in NMPC? You say, For where? I'm still here. I'm in Lagos. And they say, But you too, you know, some of you, sometimes you can be very stupid and you just stand and say, Lord, everybody may seem to have moved forward. Maybe that's someone's testimony now. God just locked you up and all you are doing is praying and fasting, praying and fasting, studying scripture, praying and fasting reading books praying and fasting praying and fasting and then learning materials you know so much but the platform to put it to work is not there god is doing something with you let me warn you if god says wait wait every time you rush seasons you will always give birth to the ishmael that will fight isaac god is a god of speed but God does not rush. Two days to your breakthrough, Satan can bring an offer in one day that can make you birth Ishmael. And forever you will have to live with that battle. Part of the way we gain speed is by waiting. It's a mystery that when we wait, we truly run. Is someone learning? Obtain courage. Do not fear. Refuse fear. When angels appear, they tell men, fear not. It is for a reason. Test number two. Judges 7, 4. Hmm. Are you ready for the second test? Now, this one, in fact, if you did not get anything I shared here, please don't forget this. This is a life-changing secret. That I want to share with you now you will thank your man of God for the rest of your life if you get what I'm showing you now and the Lord said unto Gideon the people are yet too many the first test reduced them but there are still 10,000 others he said bring them onto the water and I will try them for you there Listen carefully. And it shall be that of whom I say to you, this is the one who goes with you from that test, then he shall go with you. What is the test? Verse 5. Please give us verse 5. So he brought the people onto the water. Are you ready now? And the Lord said to Gideon, they are going to approach their interaction with this water in two ways. Study them and use their encounter with this water to filter them everyone that lapped on the water with his tongue as a dog lapped him shall thou set by himself likewise everyone that bowed down upon his knees to drink look up let me teach you a mystery here do you know what this means don't forget that when he called them they came out of their homes they had started walking some of them returned that means everybody had left home their energy had been spent are you getting the point now now he brought them to the place of some level of resolve
and because of the result in the fellowship no more prayer no more hearing god you are now bowing down to drink that water i'm happy with the ten thousand that is coming i'm happy with the 30 members there is no pressing no fasting no building gideon studied their approach to that which gives them comfort at this level the assignment of water is to quench your test when you are a thirsty man who has been working for a long time when you see water you will not know there are other treasures in the war front greater than that water is someone getting that now the second test you see let me tell you this there is you have to conquer the deception of current success you you want to go forward you must conquer the deception of complacency that comes as a result of your current achievements it is not only failure that kills success kills more than failure many people stop working with god many people deflated their passion for growth their passion to be mentored their passion to learn after all there's results now i've started prophesying it's not very clear but i've started prophesying here and there the anointing has started working it looks like a few members are coming now and god is saying this is only a test gideon study them this test you will not find out immediately it will take time for you to know those who will separate who will be separated and he said anyone have you ever seen a dog settle when a dog is eating it does not eat and lie down and just remain there it's ready to move in fact parts of the body is already moving once it is done it moves to what it was doing before that temporary success it says those who lap they are still on their feet they are just fetching it my feet my instrument of motion is still in place but those who bow down upon their knees to bow down means to make it lord over you you have made the success lord over you you have made the little exposure consume you such that you've forgotten that you were on a mission is someone learning now at the same time hear me i'm telling you why you see people gaining momentum doing certain things and at a point you will know that this preacher he's not backsliding but he has plateaued there's nothing else to learn from him and can i tell you this generation is very unforgiving over exhaustion the moment they they discern that you have you have rounded up your syllables they will respect you 
and build a monument around your your refusal for continuity and we say lord my desire is to give you glory and he says then i will keep giving you the platform to keep giving me glory please look at me we're wrapping up there are many preachers who have failed this test there are many business people you are a preacher here please don't as much as possible don't miss the the pastor's conference tomorrow by the privilege of god's grace i'll be sharing with you certain keys that will help you tonight's service before you receive is a service of genuine repentance lord i didn't know that the river you brought me to was only a test the one house you gave me the visa you gave me to tour europe and when i returned back i said nobody should come and invite me anywhere where they will give me one thousand dollars again oh dear after all i went round believers and all those who are connecting learn a lesson from this it is a real price to watch success and still be on a mission while people clap for you do you know most times when i finish meetings sincerely i'm telling you no matter how great and how wonderful the meeting is most that venue and then icc and the rates were something else but icc they would not give it for that frequency of programs and then this one that god brought us by his grace it was about the biggest auditorium that can be given for that is not built as a church auditorium not even discussing the price per use you won't believe it and then i sent a delegation to meet the man and the man said no way Pentecostal scattered shares they scattered this I invested so much I'm not ready to lose my money for nothing and I said God boy you spoke to me I'm not saying this. I hope you I hope the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty someone pray the test of courage the Lord when you speak I will not only listen I will move if I fail let me fail hearing you my soul fear not my soul fear not over your finances my soul fear not over your spiritual life my soul fear not in the name of jesus christ fear not he stands behind you like a mighty terrible one the name of Jesus now pray over the second test Lord as you lift me take away the influence of my results over my life let it not influence me to a point that I forget you to a point that I stop living by the values that brought me that honor someone lift your voice and cry before your maker let it not be that when you have built houses and your flocks and herds are multiplied that you will say my power and the might of my hand has given me this way but thou shall remember the lord thy god thou shall remember the lord thy god 
Father, we ask you to help us. You have used the life of Gideon and the strategy that empowered him to use 300 men and defeat the Midianites. Lord, there are mountains, there are heights, there are levels and there are realms that we have not gotten to that we need to get to we are in seasons in our lives where we need to make notable advancements notable progress lord we pray that the test of courage may we pass that test the test of courage may we pass that test the test of courage may we pass that test and then oh god I pray that as you honor us and as you give us results before the nations, before our contemporaries, before all men, may you grant us the stamina to not be distracted by results. Amen. That we will celebrate your hand and your workings in our lives, but not to the detriment of our advancement. Help us, O oh God, that in the midst of our results may we remain focused Amen. may we remain disciplined Amen. may we remain spiritual Amen. may we remain committed Amen. may we remain humble Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. and lord as we humble ourselves before you let there be no limit to the degree and the dimension with which you will lift us Amen. Now in the name of Jesus, I stand in faith with the angel over this house and then the graces that are here represented and I decree and declare over your life that the courage to keep moving until you leap over a wall, until you cross barriers to the next season, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you for anyone here who probably because of mistakes that you have made the glory that you once enjoyed it is now e -cupboard. it looks like the dimension of lifting you experienced has seemed to leave you the relationships the connections right now I declare the same grace that grew back the hair of Samson. I stand by the power of the prophetic. Let there be restoration now. Restoration of relationships. Restoration of dignity. Restoration of finances. Restorations of joy. And by the power of the prophetic, like Moses commanded the nation of Israel to go forward, in the name of Jesus Christ, go forward, go forward to new heights, to new levels, to new dimensions. Spiritually go forward, financially go forward. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every power that has fought you until this conference to not allow you breakthrough powers of ancestry orchestrations in heavenly places i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i have a in the name of jesus be delivered from those powers now let there be testimonies for you in the mighty name of jesus christ testimonies in ministry testimonies in family testimonies in your work with god finally i pray for you everything that has stolen your passion for god your passion for prayer your passion for the secret place your zeal for spiritual things distractions that have come through relationships 
destructions that have come through your results in the name of jesus i fan the flames of your spiritual life i fan the flames of your prayer life i fan the flames of your word life in the name of jesus christ to everyone who is sick in body i declare be healed now by the power of the holy spirit please we have to wrap up now i didn't have the time to prophesy and pray but if the man of god does allow you please even if you are not a pastor if they do allow you please do come tomorrow because i'll have a session to teach and let me have some time to prophesy and also pray for the sick and just declare release over your destiny may the lord bless you and honor you in jesus name dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline 